India and China reviewed the overall situation along the LAC during WMCC talks in Delhi yesterday. India will resume issuing tourist visas to Chinese citizens from 24 July this year. In a show of goodwill and strengthening defense ties, India has waived parking fees worth approximately 9 lakh rupees for the stranded British Royal Navy F-35B Lightning II stealth fighter jet. The Indian government has issued new rules for defense firms, mandating stronger cyber security, upgraded perimeter security, regular emergency drills and employee background checks in coordination with law enforcement. Mohindra Aerostructures has been chosen to supply cockpit seats for Dassault Aviation's Falcon 6X business jet. Kochi-based Fuselage Innovations has developed launcher drone that can carry and deploy payloads up to 10 km distance. The Director General of Israeli Ministry of Defense met Indian Army Chief and they discuss regional geostrategic developments and deepen bilateral defense cooperation. A top Israeli military delegation is in India, and discussions focused on the acquisition of long-range standoff weapons like the 300 km Icebreaker and 400 km Air Laura, and 250 km range Sky Sting 6th generation air-to-air -air missile. The Indian Navy has begun early deployment of next-generation maritime mobile coastal batteries armed with BrahMos missiles at two bases in Gujarat, which brings Karachi within the strike range. The Indian Air Force is set to boost its strike capabilities by integrating the RDO-developed high-speed low-drag Mark II precision-guided bombs into 24 MiG-29 new PG fighter jets. The Indian Navy is considering the procurement of eight naval Tejas trainer jets to form two squadrons for carrier-based pilot training. Bharat Earth Movers Limited has bagged a 293.81 crore rupees contract for supplying 150 indigenously developed 6x6 high mobility vehicles for the Indian Army. PTC Industries is setting up four plants across 50 acres in the UP Defence Corridor to manufacture titanium and super alloys for both Indian and global defence needs, which has already secured long-term contracts with Israel Aerospace Industries Safran and Dassault Aviation. To accelerate Tejas Mark II manufacturing, Hindustan Aeronautics will outsource the windscreen and canopy production to private Indian firms that will overcome production bottlenecks. French firm Naval Group and Mazagan Dock Ship Builders have extended their partnership to integrate the RDO's indigenous AIP system into Calvary-class submarines. Naval Group will offer technical support materials and training to Mazagan engineers for safe and effective integration that involves cutting the hull, inserting the AIP plug, and rejoining it. The DRDO is advancing the development of multiple kill vehicles to counter MERF equipped ballistic missiles. Each interceptor will carry several small kill vehicles, capable of autonomously targeting and neutralizing multiple warheads or decoys. The system will enhance India's missile defense by enabling high firepower multi target interception, reducing the burden of warhead discrimination. The Indian Air Force will finalize the execution model for MRFA program soon. The execution model will define technology sharing, production timelines, cost sharing, and the role of Indian partners. The request for proposal is expected very soon, and the initial jets will arrive in flyaway condition, with later units built in India. The development of the 120 kN 6th generation jet engine for the AMCA program might soon be brought under the direct oversight of the Prime Minister's office under a national mission mode that aims to fast-track timelines and ensure full tech transfer, streamline decisions, adequate funding and strategic coordination. The Ministry of Defence has recommended French firm Safran, and the deal will be finalised in the next few months. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.